streaming now. This is the Wood TV Live Desk. And good morning, everyone. Phil Panarski here with the Wood TV Live Desk. Hope you're having a great start to your Thursday. Well, this Friday and Saturday, Glass Art Kalamazoo is hosting the Glass Blowers Battle, which will pit glass workers against each other in some friendly competitions. Joining us today is Carrie Vanderbush. She is the executive director over at Glass Art Kalamazoo, and she's here to break down everything that we can expect to see during this two day event. Carrie, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. I'm super excited. Of course, and to, we are. Uh, oh, go ahead. To introduce uh, glass art to a larger audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think that's something that we're very excited about too. Kind of allowing people to see something that they probably wouldn't get the chance to check out every weekend, every other weekend even. So now that this is an event that you know gives people two days to really see everything that you guys kind of have to offer and what glass workers are able to do. I mean, really, how excited are you to be able to host this event? Um, we are super excited. We have artists coming from um, all across the state and uh, Chicago and even as far as North Carolina. And that was kind of the, my, my next question for you, Carrie, is obviously uh, you have a lot of local talent that's going to be there, but then also being able to bring in glass workers from really across the country. I mean, that's got to feel pretty good to kind of have that notoriety already for an event like this. Yeah, we're, um, we couldn't be more excited to host these wonderful artists and um, part of their um, entry into this event is they give us donations, which we then auction off at our glass art uh, gala in February. So this helps us and um, helps us in our outreach and the community. Mm -hmm. And as I mentioned, there's going to be a wide variety of competitors, some different friendly competitions for everybody to kind of just show off a little bit, but then also have a lot of fun. Uh, what exactly are these competitions going to be? What are they going to be making? What are? Can you give any of that away ahead of time? Sure. Um, tomorrow in our hot shop, um, which is the hot glass ar arena, we're going to be doing sculptures. We um, have a longtime partnership with Bronson Children's Hospital, and we have had kids um, draw their favorite robots, and our artists are going to make those out of glass, so that's pretty exciting. Um, and in our um, flame working studio tomorrow, we're going to have uh, flourishing functional pieces, so glasses, uh, silverware, things like that. Um, and then on Saturday, we're going to be featuring in our hot shop uh, a centerpiece competition. Um, and in our um, flame working studio, there's going to be marbles and pendants. Yeah, no, definitely a lot, something for everybody there. And I know I mentioned that it is sort of friendly competition. This is going to be a very fun event for everybody to who is competing or people that are just checking it out. But there are some things that the winners do get and some of the competitors will receive as part of this. What If they are victorious in their competitions or if they perform and have a really great piece, you know, what are some of the things that they get to take home with them? Uh, we have, besides bragging rights, um, we have uh, some cash prizes for first, second, and third place in each of those categories I just talked about. Um, and then we have some fun awards. We have a traveling people's choice uh, trophy and some other just fun things that they get to take home, like uh, battle armor. <laughs> I love that. That's great. And Carrie, you know, we're showing some photos right now of some of the uh, glass working that you guys have uh, done in the past. And, you know, it looks like a really good time. Everybody that's doing it uh, has a big smile on their face. They seem to be really enjoying what they're doing. And the artwork itself is really cool. So I guess, you know, kind of taking a step back from this competition and really just focusing on glass work. I mean, what is it about glass work, uh, glass blowing and that sort of thing that makes it so entertaining enough that you guys wanted to have this competition and show it off for really the greater community to really check out? Um, I think it's there's an element of danger to glass blowing um, that I think um, is exciting to watch. Uh, and because we're working with such a fragile material, um, you know, sometimes things break. And while that's unfortunate, it's all part of the process. Um, and I think it's just a really cool thing for people to see live because, um, like you said, that's not something that you get to do all the time. And, um, you know, to see someone take what's basically molten lava and shape that into a vessel like a vase, 
um, is really cool to watch. Mm -hmm. Definitely not something you do get to see every day. And that kind of leads into our last question here, Carrie. You know, we do appreciate you kind of breaking everything down that we need to know ahead of the competition. But for those people that are maybe watching this or maybe checking out our weekend planner and seeing this as an option for them to really spend their weekend and have some fun. I mean, why is this the place to be both Friday and Saturday? Why would you say that people that are even have a little bit of interest or maybe just they're looking for something to do that this is the place to be this weekend? Um, I think it's a, very much an event that you can come and go to. So even if you have just an hour and you want to come check it out, um, I, I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Um, it is definitely exciting and um, kind of just, there's just a camaraderie around everyone getting together and blowing glass. I think it'll be a really fun, um, exciting event for everyone, all ages. Um, kids love to watch glass blowing. Um, we do a first Friday event that we often have tons of kids at. So it's, it's pretty, um, it's pretty open to all ages and super fun to participate in. Mm -hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. Carrie, thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to remind everybody one last time that if you're looking for a little bit more information on the glass blowing battle that's taking place in Kalamazoo this Friday and Saturday, well, we have all the information.